Just like sending a text message on your phone, Morse code uses abbreviations too. Stay tuned and I'll tell you what some of them are. Welcome to the Ham Radio Junkie with me, Keith. For the radio ham, learning Morse can be incredibly difficult but at the same time incredibly rewarding. To help you learn, I've produced a series of videos for you to go and listen to and also watch. I'll leave a description below and also a card on the screen for you to click on. When we send Morse, we use a lot of abbreviations because it's far easier to send small characters than whole words. So let's have a look at some of them now. As you'll see, the majority of abbreviations are either a single letter, two or three letters combined. Some are sent collectively, in other words, joined up, as in AR. Rather than send just the letter A and then the letter R, they're joined up to form da 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 You may decide to use the letter K at the end of your transmission, say from a CQ call, where you've got no specific station that's coming back to you. This invites any station to come back who's heard your call. If, on the other hand, you decide to work a specific station, then you would send KN at the end to indicate that you just want that station to come back to you. And rather than send received or roger, you may decide to send the letter R. And this is sometimes repeated two or three times to confirm that the contact has been made. Again, we can see in this slide the combination of two and three letters to give the abbreviations as required. Some are fairly straightforward and don't take much explaining as in AGN for again, or B and the number 4 for before. You would use SK at the end of your contact to indicate that you've gone silent key. In other words, you've stopped transmitting. It's not uncommon for stations to respond to you or you to respond to them with a greeting highlighting the time of the day, such as GA for good afternoon. These are fairly easy to understand, but occasionally somebody will throw in a curveball, such as GB. Rather than goodbye, they may decide it means God bless. Here again we see a combination of one, two and three letters indicating various abbreviations. It's interesting to note that HW for how may then have after it CPY, as in how copy. This is an indication of another station wanting to know how you're receiving them, or if you've received them at all. You'll also note that NR is number. You'll see this during contests where stations will send NR and then the number of the contact. Most of these abbreviations are fairly straightforward, such as power, rig, RX, or RCVR for receiver, SIG for signal. Note SRI, sorry. You may see SRI, NIL, CPY. Sorry, nil copy, as in, I'm sorry and I'm able to hear you. Once again, these combination of letters are fairly straightforward. And in actual fact, you probably use some of them if you use your phone for sending text messages. Again, you will find combinations of abbreviations such as VY for very, GD for good and CPY for copy, as in very good copy. It's interesting to note here that the RST or your readability signal strength and tone when it's actually sent as numbers sometimes you'll find the number 9 replaced by an N. This is most common during contests where rubber stamps are normally 5NN as 599. So let's have a look at some examples of how these abbreviations fit into QSOs. As you'll see the station in yellow is calling CQ and has ended their transmission with a K, inviting anybody to respond to them. The station in green has then come back 
with their call sign and the other station's call sign followed by a KN, meaning that they only want the station that they're calling to come back. You'll then see the QSO start. They've put in good afternoon. Your signal is 599 and then they've actually put it in as 599. How copy this is and then the station's call sign followed by KN. The green station then returns by stating that your RST or signal is 569 replacing the 9 with an N and here Tony in other words their name is Tony. Back to you and the other station's call sign followed by KN once more. The station in yellow responds with all copy. Here Colin, as in his name is Colin, his QTH is Glasgow. He's returning back to you and once again his call sign followed by KN. As the conversation continues, the station in green comes back and says Roger, Roger, Roger. The QTH is Ely. The rig is a Yesu 891. The antenna is a Yagi and his power is 10 watts. And he's returning it back to Colin. As we see, the yellow station returns with information about his rig, which is an ICOM with a vertical antenna. And he thanks him for a nice QSO. Return it back to him. The green station then responds with thanks for the QSO and please QSL via the Bureau. In other words, send a card to the Bureau. The station in yellow then finishes it with QSL as in all copied. Hope to see you again on CW. In other words, make a contact on Morse. 73 as in best wishes his call sign and he then ends it with SK and that's the end of this brief transmission between these two stations. So you have seen from this video that during Morse code QSOs and contacts abbreviations are used quite a lot. That's not to say that you won't be sending full text because not everything has an abbreviation. I hope this has been entertaining and it's helping you improve your Morse. If you've got any comments, leave them in the comment section and I'll come back to you. If you like what I do, then consider giving me a thumbs up or even subscribing. It lets me know that I'm doing something right. If you hit the notification bell, you'll be told by YouTube every time I put some new content up. So, my name's Keith, my call sign is G0FEA and I'm the Ham Radio Junkie. I'll catch you next time.